Yes, it is understandable what you are saying. You started off saying some things which we cannot close our eyes to. Hmm? It seems sometimes the world in the West sometimes seems more crazy, chaotic, it's, aggressive, yeah. unloving. And that was my other question. I just, I, I just, I, I think it's just so crazy, and I don't know where it comes from. All yeah. that, all the violence mainly. I mean. I mean, it doesn't affect me personally, but it's, I mean, because I, I don't let it, but it's just a lot of it around. <laughs> yes. You know, just yes. like on TV and things, you know. <laughs> yes. And uh, it is a sickness. Mm. Some parts of uh, the world is having a sickness. But you have to constantly be reminded that it's all happening within the consciousness. Consciousness is responsible for all of it. A human being hmm, is an effect of consciousness. They are not the operators of consciousness. Can I say again? The human being is an expression of consciousness. They are not the controller of consciousness. They are the display of consciousness. I wonder if you follow this. What it means? It means that uh, your actions are not independent, your thoughts are not independent. They are all coming, it is all the, the waves somehow of consciousness. If you understand this thing. Hmm? You mean it is not uh, There It is not originating, there is not a doer of the life, it is not this, I am doing this. You may say this, but even when you say, I am doing something, already the activity started uh, in an unconscious or subconscious level. When it reaches the mind, the conscious level, then the mouth says, Yes, I think I will do this. But the inclination was born much earlier. Before a thought comes into your mind, uh, comes, you have no awareness of it, it pops in, then perhaps conditioning will determine whether that thought gets actualized into this tangible world or not. But it's still the activity of consciousness, if you understand this, all of it. Still, we are the consciousness also. It's complex. We are the consciousness. Hmm? Even this body is consciousness. When the consciousness itself is identified with the, the, with the instrument, the body, along with the vital force, the breath in the body, and so on, it is not a body. It itself is not a body. But by identifying with the body, it takes the body to be what it is. And this identification gives birth to what is called independence or autonomy, individuality, ego. And it's that ego which is not independent of consciousness, it's just a very contracted form of consciousness, a modification of consciousness. It's like you're not firing on all engines. You are working with very restrictive consciousness. When it is in the modification, I am a person, it is still consciousness, but it is in very restrictive zone. When that is seen, then the consciousness opens up again. It is depersonalized, and again now it becomes universal, the consciousness. You are universal consciousness, dreaming itself as individuality. But we are not just to learn this, you have to recognise it, discover this. And something gets somehow cleansed through your own seeing. And it's this consciousness, when the consciousness manifests as humanity, as human being, it's also consciousness, but it's much more it's a grosser expression of consciousness when it functions in the in the role of individual um, you know, individuality and autonomy, and I am responsible for what I do, and private dream and projections and past and identity. I am a Jew, I am a Muslim, I am Christian, I am Hindu, I am atheist, all of these. These are all notions of consciousness which has forgotten itself. When it manifests with this, then all this friction can come into play. All this friction comes alive with this. 
when it recognizes again its original nature, then it loses this the fascist tendency of consciousness when it adopts the body as its base. It is simple what we are speaking. It loses all the craving and the fears. It goes, everything go. It's cleansed. Then one step earlier than this, that which watches this consciousness, in whose presence consciousness itself is also seen. This is wordless. Wordless. non-conceptual. And we are all this. On every layer of functioning, you are present, potentially. Wherever you turn the attention, you are also there in that moment. And you are also that which watches the attention moving, jumping. But for some, this world becomes almost unbearable. There are some beings who are tired of experiencing. For most, we are addicted to experiencing. We love all of it, the texture, the diversity, the uncertainty, the friction. So if somehow one can transcend through understanding the consciousness in this place, then you are free everywhere. But there is no need for stubbornness. Also, you will come to know and to interpret correctly the language of the vital force, how it is re- reading in each moment, how it feels in the body. This is the implication of the statement, to know thyself, understand the mechanism of your own mind, and to see that even this is observable, and to stay always at the still place. You are the stillness itself. And sometimes it is as though you have to hold down the stillness, because something is trembling, it is going out. And then somehow one watches the sense of going out and see that what is cannot go out. Only what appears can go out and come in. Thank you. Thank you.